Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Dotcom 2025. I'm super excited because I have Stephen, uh, who's from Ticketmaster. Super excited to chat with him about various things and the partnership that they have with Splunk. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to be here. So I'm SNS, also known as Stephen. Uh, I am the global head of resilience engineering at Ticketmaster. Uh, I also run a developer experience platform mm -hmm. and an internal consultancy that helps all engineering teams to do a better job of SRE. I'm kind of also wanting to know a little bit about the relationship that you have with Splunk and how are you all leveraging the technology? So we've been a Splunk customer for a really long time, nearly two decades. I think it's 19 years now. Nice. Um, so the way that our business works, we often need to make very fast decisions. We need up-to-date information because often things happen extremely quickly. We have an enormous amount of fans and an enormous amount of people trying to get in a venue. It's really valuable for us to be able to understand what's going on. So by having our ability to understand events and insights from log data and from spans, that gives us the ability to respond rapidly and to nice. do what our fans need. And 19 years is a long time, so I'm pretty sure uh, you'll have fantastic partnership but a good coordination as well. I'm kind of also wanting to learn a little bit about the operations and how does it impact uh, your teams to work better in this space uh, when you're using Splunk? So I think most of the people who use the platform right now are software engineers and leadership within the software engineering teams. Mm -hmm. um, they want to be able to understand the performance and any anomalous behavior in their systems. Yep. Um, so having that ability to be able to detect whether things are happening that they didn't expect or to spot patterns and then be able to take immediate action is super important. So I yep. think that partnership with Splunk has been important to us as yeah. we understand uh, what our systems are doing and, and tune them accordingly. Fantastic. Uh, another one in terms of uh, utilizing the technology, but also, you know, uh, how teams and orgs, how, how are they leveraging the, you know, to enhance the digital resilience that you all work on? Kind of wanting to know a little bit about that. So I'm glad you asked that. Obviously, <laughs> everywhere you've looked around, it's been digital resilience everywhere. Yep. I think it's really important to clarify what we mean by that. Exactly. So, so in my mind, resilience means adaptive capacity. It mm -hmm. means being in a position for us to respond to unexpected challenges, whether they be opportunities or threats, uh, and to be able to adapt and, and evolve in real time. And it's impossible for us to do that if we don't have accurate information. Yep. Um, so uh, for us to have, uh, especially during uh, an on-sale or during uh, an entry event, for us to have up-to-date information that allows us to understand whether or not things are behaving as possible is super, super, super important. Um, so I, I think another thing is to understand that at a, in a system that's as complex as ours, some kind of service interruption is absolutely inevitable at some point. Mm. Um, the way we view that is we view that as a kind of unplanned investment in our understanding of the system. Yep. So having some kind of analytics capability, some way to go and do a deep dive into what the system was behaving like at the time that something didn't go as we expected is really important. Yes, exactly. Because the only thing that's worse than having some kind of interruption to our system is having an interruption and learning nothing from it. Yeah, exactly. I think if you can, if, you know, go back and learn from, you know, the mistakes that you all have made, but at the same time, if you can have like all the details of logs in place, nothing better than that. Uh, talking about, you know, obviously impact teams, uh, leveraging the product, there's another important question that comes up always when I talk to enterprise leaders is like the business objectives. How are you all solving those uh, business objectives when it comes to using Splunk and how has it helped uh, Ticketmaster to go to the next level? So the main business objective for me has been around consolidating on a reliable and cost-effective tool. Yep. Um, as I said, we've been using the tool for a really long time, but over time, we've also adopted many open source tools, other vendors. Uh, and when I came into the role, we had honestly quite a sprawl of tools. Yep. And what that meant was that people were looking in more than one place. Sometimes some teams were looking at a different tool from another. That made it difficult for us to tolerate and, and coordinate and understand what was going on. Yep. And also, it's, just, it's not cost effective to be paying money to multiple different vendors. Also, open source tools start to look like they're really cost effective at first, but very quickly the cost can balloon. So yep. one of my objectives has been to reduce tools, uh, tool sprawl and to get us into a position where we're standardizing on a product that serves us very well, that allows us to 
understand and get useful insights and to grow a long-term relationship. Love it. Uh, what about the future? How do you see uh, the next things that are kind of coming up uh, and what's up on the horizon? Um, so I think there's a couple of directions. Um, I already mentioned that most of the people who use the tools right now are engineers and engineering leaders. Yep. I'd like us to be in a position where more business-focused or analyst-focused people are able to get insights. Yep. So that might be building more custom dashboards, it might be surfacing information and feeding it into something like Domo. Basically saying, we have this enormous wealth of data, this enormous wealth mm -hmm. of opportunity to gain insights yep. and make that available for people who aren't just technology leaders. So that's the first thing. Um, a second area which I'm really interested in is the stuff that's been uh, announced about um, federated search. Oh, yeah, so, for sure. so the idea that we want to take the Splunk product to our data rather than take a rather old-fashioned view, which is you have to put all your data in Splunk, otherwise you might as well just go home. Mm. So instead saying, well, we might be able to uh, separate certain events out and send some of them to an S3, send some of them to a, to a data lake and a third-party tool, yep. but still be able to use Splunk as our as our sort of source of truth and our way that we would gain access and insight. I think that's going to be really exciting to explore. I love it. Uh, I love the partnership that you and uh, like Ticketmaster and Splunk has and super excited to learn and keep uh, learning more about this partnership. Uh, but these were fantastic insights that you shared, not only just from a customer perspective, but also for the larger community to understand about digital resilience understand uh, what's important and what they should be focusing on. Stephen, uh, once again, such a pleasure chatting with you. We'll keep the conversation going. But I'm definitely looking forward for a 2.0 and learning more about in depth about the different things that you and your team work on. Thank wonderful. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining us today.